A. Anybody, any one of you that loves Wikipedia and hates it when teachers uh, say it's not allowed, it's, you're not allowed to use Wikipedia. After after I was homeschooled, after I took my own education to my own hands, and I went back to school or in high school, we had this problem. People would say Wikipedia is not allowed, or Wikipedia isn't a good source. What? They say that Wikipedia is good, but it has a problem. It's not credible. Credibility means believability. So you're telling me that Wikipedia is good for knowledge, but you should not believe it? What? Clearly, you don't understand what you're talking about at all. The real problem is not Wikipedia's credibility, but the fact that teachers are teaching children to live by the genetic fallacy, specifically one called appeal to authority. The genetic fallacy means, oh, something's true because of where I heard it, or something is true, or something is not true because it was on Wikipedia. Can you see why this is an inherently fallacious way of thinking? The most true thing in the world could be posted on Wikipedia, with or without a reference. It would still be true. The most false thing in the world could come out of a study by Harvard University. Just because it was from Harvard doesn't mean it was true. The reason things are true is because they can be proved using a clear and solid line of reasoning or proven again and again through multiple experimentation. But teachers aren't teaching you to do that. They're teaching you to find the truth through finding authority. They're teaching you that you can't do it. You have to ask somebody else for the truth. But it's totally unsurprising that the educational system, not unlike the political system, generally seeks to glorify its own power in your passivity. Just like prison systems, they create their own food. The environment that students now live in is one that seeks to keep people in schools perpetually. They tell you that the only place to learn real stuff is in school. Seeks don't empower students to such a degree as that they know how to find the resources, the discipline, the motivation, most of all to know that they can learn whatever they want, whenever they want, how they want to. This is the sole and entire purpose of Wikipedia, a project which I and many others have dedicated their life, maybe not their entire life, but dedicated themselves to for the last five or more years. What Wikipedia does, essentially, philosophically, it puts learning into your own hands. You don't have to go someplace special. You don't have to ask anybody anything ever. You can do it on your own. It puts a real different sense into your mind. There's another sense that Wikipedia gives you that I don't really hear people bring up. It's a sense that humans are good. Because Wikipedia has been open for a long time anonymously to be edited by anyone, and it's not full of a bunch of crap, it's full of some of the most beautiful stuff there could be. It's a warehouse for free and well-organized knowledge. I mean, it's not what they say it is. It's not all just vandalism. It's not all just disorder and uh, immorality. It's good. Richard Feynman once put it this way, science is defined as the ignorance of experts. Don't believe people because they're wearing fancy clothes or because they got a degree. You must be skeptical, always. Wikipedia fosters this, while traditional schooling does the opposite. You, what you need to do is you need to dissect a claim or phrase into its component premises and individually cross-examine and critically think about each one of those to see if the house still stands, examining it from the foundation up. You need to find the truth on your own through a creation of chains of reasoning, through experimentation. You can't go around saying things are true or untrue based on where you read them. People have never liked it. When some new technology appears and disrupts their previous monopoly over power, when books were invented, the people that used to supply information, the people that used to be wise and profess the professors, they didn't really like books when books were invented. When photographs, when photography got big, the painters, Whoa, they had a huge campaign against photography. They thought it took the art out of art because before that, painters had were endowed with the high honor and responsibility 
of preserving the way something looked. But they were worried because anybody now could have a camera, then their previous monopoly of power would be destroyed. Why is this important to me? Why is this important to you? Because it's not just about a research paper. This isn't about what sources you are allowed to cite in higher academia. This is about the fundamental strength and security of your own mind, which is essential to your well-being and survival as a human on Earth. I want you to take what I just said with you, if it makes sense, if you value what Wikipedia has to offer. I want you to say, fuck the genetic fallacy, and fuck everything else they're telling me that if you think about it, it doesn't actually make sense. More specifically, it doesn't make sense if you think of yourself as an able person. There is a fundamental difference in the minds of the people that think, yes, I can change the world. I can take care of myself. I can know the truth. And the people that don't think they can, that will abdicate that responsibility to other people, like representatives, experts, pop stars, economists, deities, people that so-called speak for the deities. If you are a free individual, you have a self avowed responsibility to find the truth and change the world because of it. It's mostly all true, too. I mean, it's not what they say it is. It's not all just vandalism. It's not all just disorder and uh, immorality. It's good.